Now, we don't have to say it, but New England is pretty great, especially in the summer, which is why Yankee Magazine is once again highlighting the best escapes and getaways for the summer. Here with some of his favorite picks, you're just like Oprah, senior editor Ian Aldrich. Thanks for coming in. It's great to be here. It's, it's, I'm excited to talk about summer. I'm excited that it, it feels like summer, <laughs> finally. You know, we made it. We turned the corner. It's all ahead of us. This I know. is great. And then, and then you look at Yankee Magazine. First of all, Yankee Magazine, there's something about this magazine that, that is just very comforting. The, the articles are always great. The pictures are always beautiful yeah. and always give you some sort of like sense of, of nostalgia when you look at them. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we will be celebrating our 85th anniversary next September. Wow. So, uh, yeah, and we, we're sort of, we, we're the authority on New England, so okay. we're really proud of that. Uh, New England has a little bit of everything. We have beaches, <laughs> we have great cities. So tell us what's in this and where we should be hanging out. Oh, man. Well, where to start? I'm going to start. Is it too early to talk about beer? No. It's too early. Go. One of my favorite spots. Give is us an hour. We'll probably have one. You can hang around. Uh, Tilted Barn Brewery in Exeter. It's okay. this uh, couple, uh, Kara and Matt Richardson. Uh, they turned a family farm. They originally started growing hops for local beer makers, and then they decided to get in their, the beer business themselves. Mm -hmm. And now they make these really well adored, well loved double back IPAs these wonderful citrusy uh, pale ales. But what's great about this place is it, it's still a farm setting. You arrive there, the couple's dogs will greet you. There's a barn cat floating around. It's just this real rich brewery experience. And really sounds like true New England. True New England, down to earth, you know, just sort of, uh, yeah, just kind of a beautiful setting. Yeah. What are some of the other places you got? Uh, you know, if you want to really drench yourself in summer, there's, uh, Block Island is a great place to go, right? Mm -hmm. Just steps from the ferries, a beach called Ballard's Beach. Uh, it feels a little bit like the Caribbean, you know, it's got turquoise water, long white sands, but what I like about this is it, it's not just a beach, it's a beach experience. There's a volleyball net, there's a tiki bar, Right. Um, you can rent lounge chairs and umbrellas, because if you can believe it or not, my complexion doesn't do well in the sun. <laughs> no. Um, <yeah. laughs> And uh, the best thing about this is you can order oysters and lobster, and they can have it. You can have it delivered right to your beach blanket. Yeah, and it, while it is a great place to go if you want the party atmosphere, yeah. you can find another place to kind of just relax and just kind of hide away yeah. while you're there. Yeah, as, yeah, yeah. While you're there as well. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are some of the, your other favorite Rhode Island picks? Because there is a lot of things going on here. Well, uh, there's a Long Pond Wildlife Wildlife Refuge is um, was our pick for the best day hike in Rhode Island. Okay. It's this. Uh, it's a it's it's a four mile hike. It not very long, but it's it's got challenging spots. You're scrambling up some boulders, but you're walking near rhododendrons. You're under towering pines, big uh, hemlocks, and the payoff is this sweet reward. Is, is this sweet view of Long Pond? This sort of long views and things like that. If you just want to like disconnect for an right. afternoon, get away from your phone. That's right? a good place to do it. That's a great place. Now to I do am it. a guy who loves barbecue. You have uh, the Great Northern oh, Barbecue yeah, Company, yeah. and that's located in Providence, yeah. right? Yeah, and they've got a 46 ounce. Tomahawk steak. We could all go, dude. Well, you grow new <laughs> Look, I think we could share it, right? <laughs> and they've got these, uh, you know, they're, they're, everything they put out. I think, you know, any, barbecue is thought of as a southern cuisine, mm -hmm. but we own it in New England too. And there's right. been a lot of great barbecue joints that have come online in the recent years. And now we're also not that far from the Cape. No. Also a beautiful location. Even a day like today, you'll see people escaping to the Cape. Yeah. What do you got going on there? That was our big cover uh, story this year, and it was like a big uh, sort of walking people through sort of our favorite, popular favorites mm -hmm. in the Cape, but also surprise discoveries. I mean, you know, we love the sunset at Race Point Beach, the Outer Beach. Um, there's the White Shark Conservancy where uh, there, you can learn a lot about the white sharks that are there. Um, you can get some cool shark swag. Our favorite is a cozy that says, uh, I'm going to need a bigger beer. <laughs> time you come, you need to bring this. I know. The tomahawk steak and the cozy and the beer. Dude, we've got a party. <laughs> we have a party. Now, the uh, the magazine itself is on newsstands every place. And so many people yeah. also have subscriptions to the yeah, magazine and newengland.com, well. too. All great. Thanks so much for being great here. Great to be here. All right, so next time we're expecting tomahawk steaks and, uh, and, and beer I and the it. koozies. All right. Thanks so much for coming in. Great. great to have you here. Now, grab your copy of this issue and to review Ian's tips, you can head on over to roadshow.com.